Hello, this week we are looking at something called In Dulce Jubilo. This is also known as Good Christian Men Rejoice when people sing it as a carol at Christmas time. Now this piece has a melody in the right hand which sounds like a galloping feel. We're counting four beats but we're looking at notes that are a quavers with dots on and then we've got a semi quaver. Now what are these? A quaver is something that has a little tail on the end of it and a semi quaver is something that has two tails on it. So basically a quaver is longer than a semi quaver. With a dot after it it's even longer. Now what this does is it gives us a feel that goes bum 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 like you're galloping along on a horse. So in this piece we are going to sit in our C position but we're going to stretch our hand away from our thumb. So you can see there's a gap between my thumb and my first finger there. So our little finger will be on A, right there. Now, when we play this piece, we are going to be in a few positions. Mostly we're going to be in this C position. And then we're going to bring our hand together in a normal C position like that. Then we're going to stretch back and then stretch back. And then right at the end, we're going to move down on the keyboard, two notes, B, A, we're going to be on A, and then we're going to be back to our C position. So there are three positions that we're going to use in this piece in Dossé Jubilo. I am going to play this piece so you can feel the rhythm of this all the way through. The rhythm is the same all the way through, pretty much on every note and every bar. If you have a listen to this rhythm that I play, you'll start to feel it. So let's have a look at these notes. Just look at the numbers on the fingers and follow those as we go. Here we go. Okay, you'll notice that I went to the end of the third line, and at the end of the third line, we have two dots on both of the lines. That means we're going to repeat right back to the start where you've got two dots, so you repeat the whole thing again, okay? So if we think about that we've repeated this, we're going to be practicing this. The second time round we play it, we're going to go to the last line as well. So the last line is a little repeat on its own of the last two bars. And on the last line, it says writ in the middle, which means a ritenuto, which is an Italian term, meaning we're going to slow down right at the end. So it goes like this. Like that. And then what we can do is, when we repeat it, we can even play higher. We can play up here. A bit like that. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the left hand. The left hand is reasonably straightforward. So let's think about our thumb on the lower C. We'll just look at the left hand. Counting four beats for every bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then on the second line, you'll see we've got some notes that are two beat notes. They happen on the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They happen on those two beats in the bar. And then you've got a couple of crotches later on. But have a listen to how I'm playing this. Okay. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have a go together. Now I'm not expecting everyone to play this together, so you can pause the video, have a play of just the right hand. And play this several times, hands separately, get used to this. We've got to get those muscles uh, full of the memory of playing this tune before we can try and play it together because we're playing two instruments at the same time. It's not an easy thing. Let's have a play of this and I'll play it all the way through both hands and I'll do the repeat and go to the end as well. So here we go.
Okay, so that's how it should sound when you play the hands together. Now, like I said, you can stay in the same position for the whole song, or you can go up there and vary it to the next C. So all you're doing is using your knowledge of where C is, and all the notes are all the same once you move up to the next C. They're just sounding in a higher pitch. Okay. Have fun with this. Have a go at the right hand if you can only play it separately and enjoy the tune for Christmas. Happy playing, everybody.